You'll never understand me. Guys, I have no idea what is going on, but something very strange is, uh, is happening here. Let me just move this a little bit here, but something, something very strange is happening. So um, I get to work today, and I notice there are packages sitting outside of the back door of the manor, which is interesting anyway because we don't we don't really have like a physical mailing address here i mean we have like received packages before it's not common practice like at all most of the time this stuff just comes to like my mailbox or whatever um for my own personal uh mailbox so this was interesting um but guys there are i'm just i'm gonna grab one of these one of these boxes all right let me grab this. It says fragile on the box. So it says it says fragile on the box or whatever. But so this is interesting. I don't even know if I want to touch this thing. Guys, this is um, just like packing stuff in there. This. Oh, my God. Guys. Looky, looky. So, I'm just going to put her right here on the desk. So, there's a note with it, or a packet. It says object B1 on, on the packet. Let's see here. Um, I guess we just, object B1, this item is labeled as a vintage haunted doll, vintage haunted doll shipped, okay, totally convinced this doll is haunted. Found it at a yard sale, thrown in the trash in a box. I offered to buy it, but they told me I could just have it. Since then, uh, weird things keep happening around the doll. I was going to use it for Halloween prop, but I think I'm in over my head with this doll. So, huh. So guys, these objects, because I'm assuming there's more than one then. So we may be getting more haunted objects or whatever. So I want to, oh my God. I'm like touching her, her eyelashes and stuff. I mean, she's, I mean, just a plastic, a plastic doll in a, dress that is quite long almost looks like a like a baptismal type of uh, garment maybe so guys regardless this is a collection of different haunted objects this would be object b1 and object b1 This is outstanding, guys. Outstanding. Let me keep 
gonna keep looking here. So guys, yes. There will be four objects. An object without claims of paranormal activity, but should probably have paranormal activity just given the history associated with the object. Two objects with a claim of paranormal activity with little to no backstory. Basically an object that has claims of activity but no real verification. And an object with claims of activity that has been verified by different pieces of paranormal equipment and investigators with a backstory and all of that. So this could be fun. So this is, guys, we have object B1 here would be the creepy doll. So object B1 now, my God, <laughs> guys, this is freaking weird. It says, this doll was actually being thrown away at a yard sale, caught my eye. I asked them if I could buy it. They told me it was not for sale. I could just have it. Thought about using it for a Halloween prop. She says, I have, I have two cats in my house. And since the first time I brought this doll into my house, my normally calm cats were going crazy. My oldest daughter, who is 15 and normally not scared of anything, has had dreams about kids drowning since we got the doll. Oh, God. He says, I also collect crystals. I've noticed three of my smaller ones keep getting moved. I, I've honestly never believed in ghosts or paranormal things, but I do know that this is not just an ordinary doll. Another thing I noticed, which is really weird, is that there's been a weird smell in the house since I've got the doll. It comes and goes during the night, but it is weird. The doll itself doesn't smell. Uh, which I can attest to right now. Like this doll does not does not smell, um, but it's like in the closet where I'm keeping it. On and off has this weird smell. Okay, so so we also have this disembodied. What I see, and guys, it's what I call like phantom farts, right? And like here at the manor, we have like Gracie's room, which on occasion smells like urine. Um, in room seven in the back in the in the shadow man hallway or whatever we have this room that uh, very often will sporadically smell like uh, like body odor um like somebody hasn't put on deodorant in a few days or whatever but that's what it smells like so this could be interesting too so guys i want to do a, i want to do like a series of tests with these objects obviously like i said this is this is object B1, and so we're going to keep these objects labeled. Uh, we're going to keep them marked. Guys, this is absolutely bizarre to me. So, again, I, I, I get to the manor. I find these packages. They are on the back stoop um, as if somebody had, if somebody had, had obviously brought them or whatever. This is something or somebody that is uh, anonymous at this point in time. So we have no idea uh, who this would be. Um, maybe they know I, I, I really don't care for dolls at all, but this, I mean, look, look at her. And those eyes, they, they don't open or anything like that. The eyelashes are... Uh, Fairly, fairly brittle. Let me see here, yeah. Oh my god. She is terrifying. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I knew another way to say it. This is uh, kind of freaky. I wonder what your deal is. Why are you so scary? Maybe it's your face. Or the fact that, like, look at her eyes. And the fact that they're half open. Do you see that? Guys, this is so weird. My camera is screwing up as I'm, as I'm doing this. I, uh, since I'm using the GoPro or whatever, I have to have an external kind of a monitor, right? So I have my, my uh, phone hooked up 
as the monitor for that so I can see what's going on. And it is not enjoying this at all. It is pixelating and it is like uh, jumping all over the place. I wish I could show this to you, which maybe I can. Maybe I can. See so if I can get this out of the way a little bit here. So here. So... <laughs> I mean, just as kind of a reference or whatever, if you're if you're looking at the phone, do you see it jumping? Look at this; it's pixelating everywhere. Oh my God! I so just for reference, I have the doll like sitting right next to this, and it is screwing up like crazy. That was super weird, guys. My stuff doesn't do this. My stuff doesn't do that. Look at that. Oh, my God. This is so fucked up. This is fucked up. Okay. 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 So, object B1. I, I, oh, my God. This is weird. Okay. So, this is object B1. So, we are now going to... Um, what did I do with that? Here it is. Okay. So, guys... Object B1, I am going to be, I guess, I'm going to set these items out and I'm going to have them with their respective labels, right? With their respective labels, I'm going to have the, the stories put back into these. I'm going to then take uh, the, the object, which apparently now there's, there's more coming. Um, I'm going to put her with this. And the backstory, and we are going to put them in a in a safe spot. Um, I just don't know where that is yet, but here in the office is probably the safest, obviously, because we got people coming and going all the time. God, this will not stop screwing up. I don't know if it's doing it on the actual camera end or not, but I mean, you guys saw the the weird like pixelation stuff. Like this doesn't happen. This is weird. <laughs> this is fucking weird. All right. I love it. Okay. Shit. All right. <laughs> I'm just trying to, like, compose myself. Well, whoever this is, whoever you are, anonymous, like, I, I do appreciate this um, because this is fascinating. I, I can't wait to see what else, what else we have here like this could be fun um so guys this is definitely to be continued i would already say that there is something very odd surrounding this doll as now uh, my thing is completely screwed up it's completely black what the hell just happened guys i hope i'm still in frame i i, I can't even see myself right now so i hope i hope this is working what the frick oh my god Okay, guys. Okay. You're, you're going to stay right here. And if I'm, if I'm deducing this correctly, like this object to be one here would be something that doesn't really, has never been tested before. It's, it's never been formally tested to see if there is any form of activity surrounding it. But I'm saying so far it's a little weird and maybe I'm just tripping myself out. I don't know. But this is pretty outstanding. So, guys... I hope, um, I hope you're doing well. Please stay tuned. Uh, I don't even know what we're going to call this. Obviously, this is going to be its own little segment now from this point on. Like, this is going to be its own um, segment, I guess, like, series of videos now. So we're not only going to be doing the unboxing stuff. We're also going to be talking about the backstory. We're also going to be doing a battery of tests then. Like, this is going to, this is going to get in-depth. Like, I'm just kind of coming up with this as I go because I have no idea. Uh, again, I don't even know if I'm in frame. Um, Jesus. All right. I'm, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to get my, my poop in a group here. I'm going to compose myself a little bit. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely talk to you guys soon. All right? Peace.